Breeders' Crown champion Billy Joe Jim Bob has had a marvelous year, including winning the Elite Lop in Salvala, Sweden. But for the sensational five-year-old trotter, the story hits much closer to home. A matter of fact, not far from right here at Mohawk Raceway in Ontario. His pedigree suggested Billy Joe Jim Bob had very little chance of becoming a successful racehorse. In fact, his mother, Ginger Jewel, never had a foal make it to the races. But by the end of his four-year-old year, Billy Joe had won the Breeders' Crown, which earned him and his owners, Mike and Lori Wade, a trip to the prestigious Elite Lop in Sweden. My quarantine time, as far as being allowed on the track, uh, was that morning, and there's people lined up the gate to get into the races at 7.30 in the morning for 12 or 12.30 post time. And I happened to be out on the track at the same time they opened the gate, and the, the, uh, it just sent a, it sent a chill through my bones to see all these people running and screaming, running across the grandstand floor. Everybody that went by the grandstand, if it was a good horse, it doesn't matter what driver it was, they applauded them and cheered for them. It was just, it was great. Billy Joe Jim Bob was the first Canadian horse to win the prestigious Elite Lop in almost a decade. In the final heat, when he came around the turn and he was still on top and he was still fighting and still there, I just, I couldn't believe it. I, I was crying by then. I didn't even see how, what the margin of win was because I was crying so hard. <laughs> I couldn't see. Number four, Billy Joe Jim Bob, go Canada, go! There were so many people came over and and I think they genuinely were happy that we won the race. The fact that uh, there wasn't a Swedish bred horse in the race, if there was, I mean, that might have been a different story. We might not have been their favorite. We weren't actually their betting favorite. They bet uh, Peace Corps now would be the betting favorite. But I think uh, afterwards, and, and probably even before that, a lot of people were, were really rooting for us. Billy Joe returned to Canada a hero, and his command performance was to be in New York at the Yonkers International. I felt good going into the race. We uh, had a little better bad racing luck the week before at the Meadowlands and uh, he trained super that week after the race at the Meadowlands leading up to the Yonkers event and uh, I, I couldn't uh, I couldn't foresee any problems no I think they were just past the quarter and I realized and I was watching on the television at the time I realized how much of a, a hold Murray did have on him and uh, just the, Murray's posture in the bike he was leaning back and uh, the way the horse had his head tucked towards his chest um, he has a tendency to go like that because he does. He, he's a racing type horse. He gets. He's, he's uh, sometimes too aggressive, but he looked overly aggressive at, at that time in the mile. Anyways, he just. I thought, well, gee, something could happen here. Was well, long before it did. Seven and three. That's Billy Joe Jim Bob off stride and has fallen. Brendy has unseated the driver. I just wanted to make sure he was okay, and I couldn't believe that he was. Like I've had nightmares of of him going down and actually, you know, running out in the track and seeing these, and, but it actually happened, when it actually happens, you just, you don't know what to do it for, you know what to do, but you just, you can't do it because it's your own horse. I'm not going to pretend I wasn't thinking about the money. Here's something that's been, uh, you know, it's just like a, a, a paycheck every week, and a big paycheck, and all of a sudden, like, he's been good to us. If, uh, if we have trou a trouble in our lifestyle from now on in, whether he's racing or not, as far as um, financially, that's our problem. The Wade's beautiful farm in Seagrave, Ontario, is the result of many paychecks produced by Billy Joe Jim Bob. But more than the money, this horse, who was named for the closing sequence in the Waltons, has influenced his owners the way the Waltons did a nation. He was a pet in the very beginning. Um, I had him before I had my kids, so I babied him, I spoiled him. And then, you know, once he turned into a racehorse, the, all the more. Um, but he's still a pet. He's, he's still a big pet. It's one of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Stan Bergstein, there are a lot of special stories in standard bred racing, but this one is right up there with them. Well, this couple have been very fortunate, but they did not stumble into this horse. They are both uh, knowledgeable horse people. Uh, Laurie was an instructress in the Seneca College horse program. Mike is a son of a horseman. And they have a very unusual background because when they started, they scraped together, they were newlyweds, they just put a down payment on a house. They scraped together $3,000 to pay the stud fee to breed Ginger Jewel to Balanced Image, top horse here in Canada. And then when the horse was two years old, they had to come up with another $2,000, which they didn't have and had to scrape together because he almost died. And they took him to the Guelph Veterinary College, one of the best in North America, just 20 miles down the road here from Mohawk Raceway. They saved him at Guelph. So they put up $5,000. The horse has now won 902000 